Welcome to Join the Song on Boxing Day, a series of reflective services for Christmas and the New Year. That first Christmas, the shepherds were astonished to find the night sky filled with angels singing God's praise. And before long, the shepherds were singing too. Centuries later, singing is still central to our celebration of Christmas. This Christmas too, we follow the star, journey to the manger, join the song, and come into the presence of Jesus Christ. Our act of worship today is entitled, Joy to the World, the Lord is Come. We opened and will close our worship today with the carol, the Sussex Carol. And now we pray. O God, the Son, highest and holiest, who humbled yourself to share our birth and our death, bring us with the shepherds and the wise men to kneel before your holy cradle, that we may come to sing with your angels your glorious praises in heaven, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, world without end. Amen. Amen. Jesus enters the world as a child, innocent, homeless, vulnerable, gulping for air. He depends upon us, and our whole lives depend upon him. We come now to today's reading and it comes to us from the first chapter of St John's Gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him. And without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only son full of grace and truth thanks be to god Come to today's reflection now, written by Richard Carter, Associate Vicar, St Martin in the Fields. An artist once told me that when she first held her baby, she was filled with the most incredible awe. Awe, wonder, astonishment, holy fear. All my life, she said, I have been learning to do things, 
to read, to write, to study at college, to be an artist. Now suddenly, here I am, holding a vulnerable life, a child who is totally dependent on me. And I realise no one has taught me how to do this. And I feel this overwhelming protective love that I know instinctively I would give my life for. My friends ask me if I will still have time to paint. But here I am, holding the greatest work of living art in my own hands. And for the first time, I know in my heart what unconditional love means. Lord Jesus Christ, teach me to love as you love, unconditionally. Let me hold you, Jesus, as you also hold me. Let your word become flesh in me and help me to see your presence in all things. Amen. We join together now in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We now listen to a Christmas carol, Joy to the World. Let us pray. Lord, by the song of the angels, you disclosed your birth to your own people, and by the leading of a star, you revealed your glory to strangers. Teach us to know you now, and to make you known to all. 
Amen.